What's up people, Manor here coming to you with a video. This time we are going to be unboxing a lifetime compost tumbler. This one is a 80 gallon capacity. It has double bar, uh, black, uh, double wall panels, uh, latch, it does rotate and sits on galvanized steel uh, things or supports and it has a five year warranty. So let's get started. And really quick, this is the UPC code of uh, the item and this is made in China and the dimensions of this things are it's a 41 inch tall 39 wide and 35 deep so make sure that we have that much space and this is the model number information the model number is 60058 and the key feature of this thing are large chamber tumbler compost and it has good use of it I just cut the plastic sides uh, off it. I'm going to straighten it and then we're going to unbox it. So this is what all is included. Three panels, two side panels, the legs and the pieces. And they also have the instruction manual and the DVD. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open the instruction manual to see what is all there. Uh, the DVD that they have, unfortunately, is only for how to compost. For some odd reason, people were saying it was not well drafted. By the looks of it, it is. And it has uh, the contact information for customer service. And it's saying it's required two people. Uh, you do need basic tools. Uh, 19 millimeter socket, uh, 11 millimeter socket, a drill bit, a wrench, a mallet, screwdriver, and safety glasses as always because remember safety is number one priority all right the step one that they're saying using a drill bit and some screws you need to assemble this uh, basically you're going to be using the screws which is the bh4 number screws you're going to be basically assembling the stand first uh, the arrows are going to be facing inwards of course what they want you to do is this thing needs to be facing inwards and then you need to connect it so I'm going to remove these things, the cover thing, and start the assembly. Unfortunately, the metal bits already have uh, pre-drill holes, so it's easy. All you need to do is line them up and tighten the screws. And just a quick bit of information, the drill bit that you need, it is included. So thumbs up uh, from me, because they did uh, were pretty cognizant of that, and they did provide it. And the bits are labeled right here. Like AWG, BHK, the washers of course, you know, you can figure that out, the drill bit. First thing first, I did put the uh, A-frame thing into the U-shaped legs uh, that are there. So that's done. And just a quick note, the self-tapping screws, the small ones, the four of them are going to be in this bag. So while it has the name or the number listed, if you don't find them, don't get frustrated. Just look for the small bag with the spring, they will have it. So I'm going to get a drill and I'm going to put these on those four spots. And what I will highly recommend is put the base down like this that we can drill through and it's going to be a lot easier. All right, the two sides are done. I'm going to flip it around and I'm going to do the other side too. All right, that part is done and the power drill does come in handy and now we're going to set it straight up. All right, that's done. We, we, we are now going to be going to the next page, which is page 10. Oddly enough, just to put this uh, together, they spent nine pages, but it's good. I'm glad that they are being detailed. All right, next one, we have to get the L-shape thing and the spring thing. And we need to uh, weave that through. And apparently this is going to be on the right side. And the pin doesn't come out, so don't try to pull that out. And the way that you get this uh, thing is right here. And just rotate it, uh, move it around, and it goes right through. There are three holes over here, and we need to go for the right-hand side. Uh, go from the top. Like this. Feed it through. So this is right now free-hanging. Once that's done, we need to get the A-shape bracket and we need to 
feed this through. Uh, basically, we're going to be getting this done. And we're going to be using these uh, bolts. So again, this thing goes through the top. And the screw is going to be going through it. And it's also worth pointing out that the screw is countersink kind of a thing. As you can see. Uh, so it has a washer thing. This is going to be going inside. This is going to be on the outside. And right now and right now I'm only hand tightening it and again this is only to have this locking mechanism in place and it's only on one side so you cannot mess that up but they do give you two plates and two screws we're gonna do the other side too again this is on the right side this one is gonna be on the left side and facing outwards so the open part is gonna be facing outward and it's not gonna be going too far out while this is not a sponsor video shout out to AutoZone because they do have really good cheap uh, products that do get the job done so now that these screws are in I'm going to be hand tightening them and if that doesn't work you can always use the IKEA fixer uh, thing the pliers they can also get the job done and it's really important not to take off the black plastic cover that is on top leave that on as is uh, because they're stating that in the manual so we are already in page 11 uh, the process is fairly easy so going to the next step all right, this is part two. Looks intimidating, but it really is not. All they're showing is paperwork of all the different tools that we're going to be using and items that we're going to be using. Apparently, we're going to be installing the face cover and the pipes. And they're showing the tools that you need. All right, now looking at this, we need to get the bottom piece and only on two of them, not on three. All the plastic bases that are there or the inside covers that are there they look exactly the same only on two we need to screw in all right uh, now we need to screw in uh, the holes or drill some holes in these uh, plastic bases all of them are exactly identical all of them have the same exact look so only have two of them the other one just so that you don't mess it up just put it back in the box on the side so i got the two uh, i got the two here this one i'm going to put on the side and fortunately they do have the drill bit already provided that's the one that we need to use and the holes that we're going to be drilling is in these five spots one two three four and five five on each side so ten on one panel ten on the other and what i'm doing is i'm using the frame to support it and using the drill bit that was provided i'm going to just drill the holes and one side is done time to do the other all right other side is done too uh, just using the weight of the drill didn't take me no more than two minutes for both panels so let's go to the next step so I'm going to take these this part is done the next step is to connect the metallic plate onto either side and we also need to drill the holes on one side so the top part the one that says lifetime we're going to leave that as is only on the bottom side we're going to be drilling the holes apparently we need to drill on all the sides and as you can see uh, the thing does have life timer on it you cannot mess it up because there are no points to drill the hole only on the side panel are there points that you need to drill the holes and we're going to be using the same drill and i'm going to put this uh, on the side and drill the holes all right the holes have been drilled again very easy process going to continue with the same side too or I'm going to continue with the other side too. All right, the holes are done. Uh, now we need to take the two metallic plates that came in this, uh, one on one side, one on the other. So do not discard it. It is uh, important and we're going to connect this. So very carefully, while the sharp edges are not sharp, just be careful because remember safety is number one priority. And we're going to get the containers open.
and we're going to be and again good job they already pre drilled all the holes and we're going to be connecting this to this part right here and and considering this is contrast uh, this has a edge that is a little bit on top that's going to go right on top of this so the one with the warning label is going to go on top and the plastic piece which is right here is going to be just sticking right through and same with the other side the plastic piece right here basically the round nub thing is going to be sticking right through the hole and this part which is the raised part is going to be going over here so boom and to connect this we're going to be using these screws the one that says B I R uh, it already has the washer over there and these small washers these are the one which are B H O so these small washers with these screws are going to be connecting this and we're going to be using three of these and three of these and the way that you want to assemble is uh, the screw is going to be going on the top the washer and the other bolt is going to be going from the bottom and the area we're going to be connecting is going to be right here and again because this counter sinks you don't need to hold this all you need to worry about is tightening this part so that sinks right in you rotate that you drop the washer in note initially it might note initially it might seem like they're going to be loose but using just a plier or a socket if you have it you can tighten it so it's completely secured all right in the next step we have to take these uh, nuts and bolts and the big ones the giant big ones which are right here uh, this one has the thing uh, the center round piece so we need to take one of the big washers from the top and also uh, the small washer which was on the same spot and the metallic piece which was already there we need to put this so this is going to be going one side and we need to install some of this grease and the black part which was the other side is going to be going with the other small washer along with the screw which was the black washer right here and the screw which was on that side so now we need to put this into the case and again we need to squirt some of this on this part right here that way it's a little bit more greasy I guess and really important the sequence this thing is going to be on the outside of the tumbler thing this is going to be in between the black part is going to be in between and that's on the very end all right step one get your tumbler ready or the side walls ready uh, now take the silicone based grease and put it on the side of this now I'm going to be putting this inside the central hole and passing it through the main hole right here you're looking at is something like this so as you can see this is right here now we're going to be putting this washer thing and then we're going to be passing this through and connecting this on the outside and I've kept it loose for a reason that way you can see the beaded part of the bolt is going to be on top with the washer right here the black washer right here and on the inside which is right here is going to be the other washer all right so I had to get uh, these heavy duty uh, cobalt clamp things the plumber wrenches to get that done because the tools that I have are not big enough I guess the way that you want to tighten it you want it to be loose enough that way it has a little bit of sway in it and it should be able to rotate freely uh, reason why I'm actually saying that is once you're tightening all the screws are going to self level and it's going to be pushing out and when you look at that it does have a locking mechanism and it works that's when you know you're, not, you're doing it right so now that this side is done we're going to do the same thing on the other side all right now that this is done well now we need to install the pipe the hole is already there all you need to do is rotate and put the pipe through just like this and putting the pipe was fairly easy all you have to do is rotate once put the pipe in on one side uh, lock this side and just rotate it 
uh, that way it made it a little easier to just put the pipe through once you do it the pipe is going to be smacked up in the middle all right now comes the fun part we're going to be taking these screws and these blackhead things and connecting them in uh, the intention is that these the intention is that these black things will go right into the slots we do need to unlock it and let's get started and basically we need to take these recessed parts and put them over there and then screw them through it that is done now we're going to be putting in them in the brackets make sure not to screw this in first uh, prior to screwing this in, we need to install these U-shaped brackets over here so it can latch it on. Now that this is in, we're going to be putting in two screws here and two screws there. Now we're going to be assembling these latchets. They need to go like this because this is how it's going to open. So we're going to connect it on the bottom first, then we're going to open it and then connect it. And again, we're going to be using the screws and we're going to be putting these black parts inside to secure them. All right, the latch assembly has been installed, similar to the previous ones. Uh, the plastic knob thing, which is right here, goes over here, we and we pre-drill and send the screw through it. So as you can see, screw is here, and the plastic thing is here. And the biggest benefit is that this does move, so it can come out completely if you need to empty the composter. Now the only thing we need to do is install the top part so the latch can go on. Alright, we are at the final step now. We need to connect the latch. This is how it's going to go. Two screws on the top, this on the bottom. I'm going to unscrew it. So this thing has one hole which is going to go right here. And then this is going to be going right like this. So to make sure that it is at the best possible spot, I'm going to uh, drill the holes and then I'm going to connect it. And the final screws have been put in. And this is good to go. Overall, the construction seems to be solid. And even though it's actually kind of cool in Florida, about 60 degrees inside, it's about 80. So this uh, black color does help. And as you can see, the lock is pretty tight. Initially, it has a little bit of a gap. But once you close it in, it's completely good. And solid, heavy-duty plastic. The thing that I do like, it has holes on the side so oxygen can enter and there are slight bit of gaps so the air can pass through and the key feature that I love is to rotate it it just spins it just is that effortless I mean and the top side has a low life timer on it and this is not a sponsor video I bought this with my own money I'm gonna try it out as always like comment subscribe and I will see you guys and girls on the next one and I'll talk to you later, people.